What's up YouTube, it's Brandon from Tattooing 101. Are any of you having a hard time piecing together some tattoo designs and making a design that will actually fit up the room that you're wanting to do? In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I could add roses to pretty much any design and have it work and go fluent and have flow with your designs. So let's get into it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you that roses go along with pretty much any tattoo. If you are doing a tattoo and you wanna add some more things to a specific area in your tattoo, or just have, let's say, a bust of a person and you don't wanna just cut off that area, you could add a rose to it to make an awesome design. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you could add roses to any design. And also, I'm going to be using stamps for this one. Now, anytime you use stamps, you could use that as an idea of what it's going to look like. Do not just use stamps to be able to tattoo. It's a whole lot faster for me to be able to show you with stamps in this design, but just know, do not use stamps for your tattoos. Other tattoo artists are going to be able to know that. And some clients are gonna be able to see that and they're not gonna think you could draw and it's not going to help your image for becoming a tattoo artist. So for this video purpose only, I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like to throw roses with different designs, but I won't be using these designs to tattoo just because they are stamps. So let's start out with a really easy one. You know, if you're doing like a traditional style tattoo and you want to do a pocket watch with some stuff around it. Obviously roses work really well with everything. So you could add your pocket watch. Let's say this is going on the arm. You could go here and go to some rose stamps which is right here. I had to look for them. I never use these, so it takes a little bit. I have so many brushes that I don't even use and stamps that I don't even use. But, so this one I'll have overlap the clock a little bit. And make sure you're using different layers. What this is going to do is be able to move them around without just going fully over top of them. So we could add the rose right here. One thing you want to think about is where your time is going to go. So if both my hands on the clock are going to be up here, I can have it overlap down here a little bit and it's not going to affect the design. Another thing is I wouldn't use the same style rose. Like don't just draw a rose, copy and paste it. Draw different style of the roses to go with your design. So it just looks more professional. So this one I can have to go behind. Right here, we'll do it a little bit bigger. Actually, let's do it on this side. That'll look cool. Yeah, cool thing with this, you can move everything around and see how you want your design to look before actually doing it. So you can see here, everything is on different layers. So this one's gonna be behind, so I can just erase this part right here and be able to see exactly how it's gonna look behind this clock right here. And then down here, I could erase this part of the clock because this is going to be in front. And super easy idea, added a little bit more to the pocket wash. You could also add some of the chain coming out of and around um, and just create some flow with the design. But it's super easy to add some roses to anything like this. So that's one style you could do. And obviously if you're adding roses, you could do leaves and everything else like that. Now, let's say you wanna go even more traditional, just do like a dagger with a rose. You could go down here, yeah, blades. Cool, so we could pick out a traditional style dagger. Really, anyone will work. Throw that down on the paper. Oh, that was too big a cut off. Right, like that, change the size however you want it to be, and then go to a different layer again and throw a rose right in the middle of it. So all these roses are more near traditional style. If you wanted to go more traditional, you just have to draw up a traditional rose, but this one will work for this design. You could have it go straight through it or behind it. Usually what I like to do is I'll have the dagger go straight into the middle of the rose and then come out behind it. that so we can just erase everything that we need to
and very quickly and easily we just created another tattoo design um, and then you can add your leaves in specific areas where's my liner set there we go so we could add our leaves over here Two over here. There you go. You could tattoo that, print it off, and tattoo it right away. So let's go to the last one I'm going to show you, just showing you different styles. Let's do, let's see here if I have any hands. A hand will be a cool one. Yeah, so we could slap down a hand right here, and just how it gets cut off right there, it looks a little awkward. So what you could do is add a rose to this and make it look a whole lot better instead of the hand just cutting off. So what you could do, go back to our roses again. This one looks pretty cool. So you could add the rose right here and do it a little bit big so it covers up a part of the hand right like that. And you could have it turned really any way you want to. I'll kind of have it going with the flow of the hand right here. And then just go back and erase the hand part that's covered up by the rose. So you can see it got rid of that really ugly part on the bottom where it just cut off and it looks really, really good. You know, you could put a dagger through the hand or, you know, shade it a specific way or even add some blood drops coming down. But roses really go with any single tattoo design that you could do. If you're first starting out, I highly recommend you learn how to draw roses. This is going to be one of these things that if you can't draw a rose, it's going to be really hard to be in the tattoo industry. There's people that come in and just get a half sleeve of roses. So you have to be able to draw them because using stamps is going to affect the way that you do your tattoos. And people are going to eventually notice, which is going to cause problems with getting jobs, getting apprenticeships, things like that. But this is how you could throw roses with any single tattoo design. And if you are first starting out and you want to learn more about tattooing, learning all the steps about sterilization, the tattooing process, learning in detail about different styles of tattooing, if you're not sure about that, I highly recommend you check out our Artist Accelerator program. If you're interested in that and you want to be mentored by me personally and be able to get on calls with me every single week to talk about any issues that you're having. I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to check that out. As always, I hope this was able to help you out and you have a wonderful day.